NBC 10 News Today continues. All right, I'm joined this morning by Dr. Gray, here to give you some health tips and maybe a little bit of life advice. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing well, buddy. Are you? I'm doing terrific. I'm glad you're joining us today. Well, so you. let's go ahead and get started. Uh, when it comes to eating, especially addressing overeating, you know, how long does it take really while I'm having a meal to, for that message to hit the brain that, you know, I'm full? Well, the message to hit the brain that says you're full or fully satisfied takes about 20 minutes. I encourage my patients that are trying to lose weight to try to recognize that sensation a lot earlier. Uh, the first sensation of satisfaction, not the final one, but you're satisfied. Uh, and if you can do that, if you can teach yourself to do that, uh, you will uh, save yourself a lot of weight. So th this goes for <coughs> this next question goes for folks who may not be eating that much or even at all, especially in the morning. We're up on the go. Sometimes don't have time to fix something to eat, or maybe even not feeling hungry at all. Now, uh, what is that really doing to my metabolism if I just am skipping that meal in the morning? If you're skipping breakfast, I don't think it's doing anything. We used to think that it cut down on your metabolism. Uh, I don't believe that. Uh, most people tell me if they skip breakfast, uh, they'll, they'll eat less during the day. If they eat breakfast, they stay hungry all day. Um, so I think just a cup of coffee to get you going, and, and you're good. All right. This next question, um, <clears throat> can being obese cause infertility? Well, it, the answer to that is that uh, when a woman loses weight, she becomes more fertile if she was overweight to start with. I, I have to warn my patients about this, uh, and I've had uh, a bunch of them to ignore it to their <laughs> regret, uh, and they turned up pregnant um, when they lost weight. Uh, it's also true that uh, underweight will cause infertility. We, we know women can be when it comes to watching their weight and things like that as well. But yeah. that's definitely helpful advice. Now, this is an interesting one, especially you know, smokers out there. Nicotine, that main uh, ingredient. How does that really affect people's appetite? Well, nicotine is an appetite suppressant. So when people quit smoking, their appetite will go up. Uh, and they have to really watch it or they're going to gain a lot of weight. And uh, since just coming off of smoking, let's talk about drinking as well. So if we're drinking alcohol, does that all end up turning to sugar or is that just a myth? Well, I think sugar is a product of uh, alcohol metabolism, but there are a lot of other byproducts of it too. Sugar's not the only one. All right. So uh, turning to this next question, when it comes to risk factors for getting diabetes, what are some things people need to look out for? Well, uh, inheritance is a risk factor for it. Uh, abdominal obesity uh, causes insulin insensitivity or insulin resistance um, and is a risk factor for diabetes. Those two things are the main things. All right. Dr. Gray, I want to thank you so much for dropping okay. in this morning and sharing some of these excellent health tips. You can find all this information and more on myarchlimus.com. And just before we let you go, how can folks get in touch with you? Well, they can call us at 318-251-1000, buddy, or they can come see us on Reynolds Drive in Ruston. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Gray. Okay.